Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southerton, Pennsylvania. Taking a look at another Winnebago product today. We've got the Micro Mini 1800BH. It's going to be a perfect, lightweight family camper for any of you that don't want anything too big or a little limited on your towing capacity. It's definitely going to be a great trailer for you to check out. We'll take a look at the outside, the inside, see if it might be something you like. Starting up front here, we've got the front fiberglass front cap. You're going to have your two 20-pound propane tanks that'll be stored under there. Electric tongue jack with a light on there as well. It's going to be nice. Push the button, it's going to come up and down for you. Coming around the other side, you'll see you do have a nice big power awning up there with an LED strip. You've got some outdoor speakers. You also have a front part of your storage bin. Sticks up there. It's got a magnet. Nice thick doors as well. Inside, you'll find your 30 amp power cord and your nice big pass-through storage space. You can find your solar controller on here as well. This one does have the solar panel on the roof. It also has the power stabilizer jack. So you can just hit the extend and retract buttons right here and your stabilizer jack for the fronts and rears will come up and down. Over here some more on this side, you'll find your water heater, your fresh tank fill up your, it's got a black tank flush on board as well. You've got a cable hook up in some outlets over here. This does have the Explorer package, so it comes with a nice 15 inch wheels, off-road tires as well. It even sits a little higher, it gives you some more ground clearance. Um, so it sits up nice and high for you. Keep coming around here. You'll find your fridge ventilation, the exhaust for your furnace. On the top, you do have your full spare, a ladder to get up on your roof, check all your sealants, clean off your solar panel if you need to. It is prepped for a Voyager backup camera on here as well if you want to get one. On the back you do have an outdoor shower. Have a hose with a shower head in there. It's a few feet long. They have hot and cold water. Back over here on this side you'll find more of your hookups for your 30 amp connection, your TV, city water connection. And your drain pipe sits a little higher which is nice for those of you folks that don't like to get down way too low to the ground. And you've got your nice storage back here as well. If you want to bring some toys along with you, you can open this up and then you can actually pop the mattress up. It'll stick up in place and then you'll have this nice big open area in here. If you want to maybe tuck some bikes away, any of the toys that you bring along with you. You can see up in this bottom bunk as well. You have a USB in its own individual LED light. No slide out unit. Keep the weight down. On the other side here, you'll find the other side for your pass-through storage, which you've seen from the other side. Let's hop up on the inside and see what space we're working with here. Got your steps with a nice grab bar. These Winnebago's have some nice insulation as well. Put a wrap all the way around it. You do have heated and enclosed underbelly under here. If you look up above, you also have a tank heater switch as well, so you can flip that on if you're out in colder weather and be able to turn on those heating pads. Like I said, other than that, it is insulated below. Forced air blows down there. Let's get a good view of the uh, whole interior first before I go through it all. Got your dinette, your bed up in the front, some storage up above. We'll start in the galley area over here. Right away, you'll have your awning in and out switch, that tank heater switch. Check your tank, uh, check your tank levels. Turn on your water pump, and then you have a switch for your interior and exterior awning light. You do have a TV on board. This is your Connects uh, wireless charger, so you can drop your phone right in there if you're plugged in and it will charge up your phone. We've got some outlets here as well if you want to bring another appliance, stick it on top. Maybe even on your countertop extension, which is nice. Dual stainless steel sink. This is great on a unit of this size. Usually they're the smaller single sinks. See if I can get that to stay. Nice and deep and wide. You'll be able to get a lot done in here. The sink head is uh, detachable, so you can pull that out and do as you wish. You've got some storage up above here. Quite a bit down below as well. You've got a few pull-out drawers. Pretty long, pretty deep for you as well. They're all three all the way down. You've got another one in here. Maybe a nice space for a little waste basket to stand in there and put some other things for you you've also got the connect system up here for your phone that you can connect to your cd you've got inside outside speakers that you can adjust from there no oven on board so you do have a convection microwave You'll be able to work that as an oven along with your 
three burner cooktop. Instead of having the oven down below, you've got these nice deep pull out drawers, any pots, pans, plates that you want to tuck away. Actually, this one is your fuse box and, and breakers there. So only the one deep drawer there. Nice big fridge in here as well. A unit of this size, having a fridge of this size. If you're bringing the family along, you'll be very thankful. It is a gas electric fridge, so pop that open. Plenty of shelves, lots of room in there. Down below, you'll find your furnace for the heat. Click that on, it's gonna heat this thing up in a matter of minutes. Coming into your bathroom here, you've got the toilet with foot flush. Plenty of leg space with it being faced this way. And a pretty decent sized shower as well. It's got the skylight in there to give you some extra head space. And then up above, you do have an exhaust fan with the vent. Here are your double bunks. The top one also has its own USB ports and LED light. You can open up that pop uh, top window if you want. Get some nice ventilation up in there. They're ready for 250 pounds. And you can access the storage down below there as well. And coming along here, you'll find more space. Use it as a pantry if you like. There's even some hanging hooks up there if you want to move the top shelf and maybe hang some t-shirts, you can do so. Nice size dinette as well. A lot of smaller units will cut them off about here and make it a little smaller so you got yourself a little extra seating room. There's also storage underneath both of the dinette booths. And if you want to make that a bed, the table is very easy to drop down flat, fill the cushions in the middle, and you'll have yourself an extra bed space if needed. And above your dinette, you will find you've got some storage. Your air conditioner is ducted through the ceiling. So you've got the roof mounted AC, ducted vents. They have drop down shades on all these windows so you can just pull them down for your privacy and you'll be able to pull this out and slide the window open if you like your main bed space does have a privacy curtain that'll come across it's also got its own outlets usb over here on the side a little storage cubby for you and then more storage up above here it's a very big space again a unit this size having all this storage you'll be very thankful for it's got a lot more bins than some typical units you'll find and even down below, you have access to that outside pass-through storage. Some nice windows on either side as well. Get that cross ventilation going. So this is the Winnebago Micro Mini. It's the 1800BH here at Fretz RV in Southern Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Want some more help on this? We'll be glad to help. Like the video if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future content. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.